So now let's see how we can add in quizzes inside of Adobe Captivate. To add in a quiz slide, let's go to slide right over here on the top left. And over here, you can see that there's an option to select a question slide. So let me just select question slide just uh, right over here. And you can see that there are ranges of options provided for you to choose from. So you can see that there's multiple choice, there's true or false and other options that you can choose from. So let's go with multiple choice over here. So once you choose the question, you can see that you can choose the number of questions that you want to add in. So I'm going to say two in my case. So these can be graded. This can be treated like a survey or a pretest which is not graded. So I'm just going to leave that on onto graded right over here. So once that is chosen, I'm just going to press OK right over here. And once I do that, you can see that there is two question slides right over there. That is two multiple choice question slide. The first question is here. This is the second slide right here. So question two of two. And there's the result page. So all has been generated for you as you can see right over here. So I'm just going to delete the first slide right over here. So I'm just going to start off straight with the question. So what I can simply do is I can ask in questions right over here. So I'm going to say, uh, what uh, Adobe Creative Cloud means. So I'm just going to uh, go over here and type in the answers right over here. So I'm just going to add in Creative Cloud and I'm going to say over here Creative Creation, some wrong answers as well, as you can see. Creative creation. So there you go, two, two answers right over here. So let's say I want to add in more answers to this. So what I can do is while I'm on this slide, you can see that on the right hand side, now you have a quiz as an option right here. The answer is two, as you can see. So I can just change it into four and two more uh, answers will pop up just like this. So let me just add in creative creation. Okay, and I'm going to say all of the above. All right. So now this is the uh, correct answer. So I'm just going to tick on this one right over here. So now when someone takes the quiz, they'll be able to uh, select this and the correct my answer option will appear and the grade will be added as well. So it says you must answer the question before continuing. So this is what is there as a default option. So you can go to the quiz and look at uh, its settings as well. So what you might want to do is shuffle answer. So uh, the answer is not in the same place every time. So you can do something like that. If there are more than one correct answers, then you can choose multiple answers over here as well. And look, look at that, they turn into these check boxes. As you can see right here, you can also give partial score or full score. In my case, I'm not going to give any partial score. So let's say uh, I want to give this one around 10 points itself. So that's fine. If the participant answers wrong, you can also give penalty. So let's say minus one point is what I want to penalize. So you can also change the number settings right over here. But anyways, I'm going to keep it as it is. You can also add in clear back and skip button right over here, as you can see right over here if you want to. So I'm just going to go around here, not keep anything else because this is just an MCQ question right over here. So on success, that means once the uh, once the learner actually clicks on the right answer, then what happens is that continue is done. The number of attempts I, um, you can give is more than one as well. So I'm just going to keep it to one. So even if uh, the first time um, the answer is wrong, maybe you want to give a second chance, then you can actually go over here and type in two right over here. So these are the options provided, as you can see right there, all of the options provided for an MCQ uh, question. You can go over here, change out the titles over here as well. So you can change from multiple questions to something else. Just double click and change it out. Even the message, you can double click and change it out. But anyways, I'm going to keep it as it is. And then I'm going to go to the second question right over here. So I'm going to type in my question right over here again. So I'm just going to say, uh, what are, what is the tool used for designing? graphics all right so i'm just going to add in another question right over here i'm going to say adobe illustrator this is going to be the right answer and then this is going to be adobe after effects and then i'm going to go around and add in more options over here as well so go to quiz right over here and change it into four 
And then over here, I'm going to add another answer, Adobe Audition and Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, so for uh, answers right over here, Illustrator is the right answer. Over here, you can also see the result page right over here, as you can see, but here you don't have any options. For it so you just have these options as you can see so you can see how much you scored the maximum score the correct questions and total questions and so forth so let me just go over here and then preview uh, these out so i'm going to go out and preview the entire project right over here so once i preview this out you can see that this is how it looks like so i can press the play button right over here and the question is there. So you'll have to select a question to continue up. So I'm going to go around here, select the correct question, the correct option right over here. That is the uh, creative cloud. And I'm going to press submit and you can say correct. Click anywhere or press Y to continue. So just click and it'll continue as you can see right over there to the other question. So over here, what tool is used for graphic design? So let me select an incorrect option right now. So I'm going to go for Adobe After Effects and submit it. It says incorrect anywhere or um, click anywhere or press Y to continue. So if I were to click it, it'll go and take me to the result page with my results. So it says that I scored 10 right over here. The maximum score is 20 and the correct uh, question is one total question is two accuracy is 50 and attempt is one so I can review the quiz So here it says sorry I failed as well as you can see so I can review the quiz and then see like what are the correct answers and so forth So I can read it review the quiz and continue this out just like that. So these are the options provided for the quiz But let's say I'm not happy with the pass marks so let's say let's see how much the pass marks is to see the how much the pass marks is because I scored 50% but still managed to fail. Let's say I want 40% to be the pass mark. So what I can do is I can change that out by going into the quiz section right over here and then I can go to quiz preferences right over here and then from the preferences you can go to quiz and over here you can expand this out to go to pass or fail. So by default it's 80% as you can see so let me just change that to 40 right over here and press OK. So once I do that now if I were to retake the quiz right over here so if I were to go over here onto the onto the project and retake the quiz what will happen is that now I can select this all of the above next so it's incorrect right over there and now I'm going to choose uh, the correct answer so it's 50 percent correct now if I were to go over here it says congratulations you passed the quiz right over here that is because I scored more than a 40 percent one one is penalty as we chose uh, last time as you can see so I scored 9 out of 20 and that's 45 percent so that that's a pass so that that uh, all of these can be set up and can be easily set up for tests in different scenarios so that is how you can uh, create a multiple choice question and set it up inside of adobe captivate so if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe